I would read uh, selections from a short story I wrote a few years ago. Uh, it's called Vaseline Eyes. It's about um, uh, what, what else would be more appropriate on St. Patrick's Day than a depressive suicidal alcoholic. Yeah. Um, so, um, so anyway, um, it suddenly becomes more about depression and suicide and stuff because that's stuff I was actually dealing with. I don't, I don't drink, so you know, write what you know. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I'm just gonna read like one third of this because like it's like 20. It's it's. I mean, it's a short story. It's like 20 pages, so it's not super long. But uh, I'll just read the first section of it. Um, okay, so like I said, this is gonna mention alcohol, suicide, suicidal ideation, stuff like that. So if that bothers you, just let you know. Uh, Thanks for the, uh, I, 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 I take those things seriously. I know other libertarians do not. I, I, That's okay. I That's all right. Thank you, Mateus. Uh, <clears throat> so, this starts off, uh, the first section is called The Background. Some people get energetic when they're drunk. I just get depressed and lethargic. I don't want to dance to my favorite songs. I don't want to fuck the nearest being that has a hole. And I don't get more confidence to be myself. I just want to die. It doesn't help that I'm surrounded by beer. Wherever I go, there are stainless steel walls that chug down more and more until their fill, fill is met. The walls of this place are alcoholics, not me. I don't feel more relaxed when I drink. Most people I've met report feeling calmer, nice. It's like their brain is on temporary vacation, a vacation that you can't quite remember, a report card with holes. I had plenty of both when I was younger, things I can't really recall. Why drink then? It's a vacation from other sorts of pain. It's true the glassy look on the world makes things look a little brighter. And it's true that the glaze over my eyes makes food taste a little sweeter. The next bottle even more so. But these are just little things. They can't make up for the negative effects, the constant pounding in my head, the vague feeling of nausea. Nausea is particularly interesting. Say you've got a mild case, it's just something that'll fade in and out. Doesn't necessarily wreck your day, but it sure as shit is annoying. In more extreme cases, it can feel like your stomach is falling apart, like the chemicals in your body have just had enough of your shittiness and decided to stage a full-out military coup. Or something like that, anyhow. So anyways, I don't know how I wound up here, of course. I don't know why there are all these things around me. Pistons are going off outside or inside my head. I just want to get a hold of things, but the walls look like an eerie white or a dying yellow. There are smudges of different colors coming from the ceiling and onto the floor, and it smells like last night to me. I remember going through winding and ascending stairs. I passed over wet and soggy pebbles that were drenched with one liquid or another. The sky was parted slightly and was red, filled with alcoholic blood. I don't remember if it was raining. There's a cracked mirror leaning up against the wall. I've got a loose-fitting jacket, some slacks that have all sorts of stains on them. My shoes are spotted, crinkled and worn out, both on the outside and in. I've got a half-good watch on my wrist that looks all right, comparably. This is me when I'm put together. At this point, walls are looking sludgy to me and losing their luster. I'm starting to wonder whether anything has luster. I'm realizing that it's a bit weird that no one is around me. Not only am I unsure how I got here, but I'm even more baffled why there's no one here. Now that I think about it, I'm not the only empty thing here. The, floor are all em the floors are all empty, the stairs are stained, and the floor is creaky. I might even fall through if I'm lucky. Right now, there's a giant, gigantic pigeon looking at me with the wind in my face. And I swear I'm not high, I'm just drunk. There are colors wherever I go. Splashes of dark green litter the walls and architecture around me. I feel like I could go higher, but I'm not feeling so well balanced as is. Monsters are all around me with sulfur, gasping for one last breath. Their teeth are filled with gravel and concrete, and my bones wouldn't last a second. The way my bones were being crunched up and down by just walking, I can only imagine what those monsters would do to them. I've lost my balance and I'm suddenly sitting on the ground. There's glass around me, lots of beer bottles. It's like each shard of glass is laughing at me. I can see myself in each little shard and it's like a glittering millions reflection of sucking. <laughs> no one likes a reflective bottle. It's like this whole place is just laughing at me. I get the distinct feeling that this place is either some sort of witty metaphor, either for my alcoholism or my lack of self-esteem, in case you were wondering. How long have I been like this anyways? I feel like I'm swinging glue, molasses, maple syrup? Uh, isn't that a derivative of molasses? I, I was never a very good poet. There are words on the roof. Oh yeah, I'm on a roof now, I guess. Ninsaki, bless me beer. My smartphone isn't drunk, so I asked Siri what the fuck or who the fuck that is. Siri is a wise ass and decided to send me to Google since I'm slurring my words. Google immediately decides it knows what's best for me, shows me what I probably meant, and I figure out it's the goddess of beer. We've got some original artists here, folks. The whole place smells, yells, of a giant yeast infection. There are machines that are probably once buzzed with life, but have become obsolete. To me, this sounds like one of the better parties I've gone to in the last week. I don't exactly have an exciting life, just a perpetually exhausting and downcast one. Dark clouds hang to me like expired paste hangs to a cracked popsicle stick. Too morbid? This isn't a character study. I'm not interested in giving my whole life story to you. Besides, it's not that interesting anyway. 
I didn't have shitty parents, I got good grades, I had nice friends, none of the authority figures in my life bravely robbed me of my youth. It's not exactly like I'm your typical candidate to be walking around in a band of brewery with beers in, in his... Oh, right. I look around me, catching my breath and balance with every turn of my head. I probably need to lie down. An abandoned brewery. Why the hell? How the hell? So this is what my life has come to, wandering around an abandoned brewery while drunk. I guess it could have been worse. I could be drinking the same crummy beer that caused this place to go out of business. Though, maybe that would have had the advantage of dystopian-styled poetry. Shit, now I'm pining for too shitty to not fail beer. I'm a weird sort of drunk, in case you haven't noticed. I have a lot of experience with alcohol, but I couldn't tell you where it comes from. I don't have an opaque referential point to give you about why I drink so much. I can't exactly point to my father on this one like a classic 80s commercial for cigarettes. I wasn't peer pressured either. The only peer pressure going on, the only pressure going on here is internal. And man, it is intense in here. Self-loathing is a big factor in my life. I don't feel like I deserve much. And again, I couldn't point to some big factor in my life that comes from that. Some people try to make me feel better by telling me it must be genetically derived. But that explanation just makes me inherently feel like shit. Like, great, even God thinks I should be miserable. <laughs> I'm wishing I had more successful beer to drink. Anyway, I'm more of the moody contemplative drunk. I've been around the bed more than a few times, and by now I know how to keep most of my posture and internal monologue in place. I mean, it's a little fuzzy the next day, and I'm not saying I'm going to be winning any Nobel Prizes, plus I haven't bombed anyone, but, um, but, but at least some distractible people might not... Thank you. But at least some distractible people might not notice I'm drunk. I always got to put in political references here and there. It's for the kids. Uh, there are sorts of people, those sorts of people are my friends, by the way. Those are the people who have largely given up on paying attention to, to the intricacies of life. The colors of marble after it's been finely tuned by the stomping of millions of people. The dashes of color that drain in a freshly painted wall of the tent. The sky that meshes with a dark blue and the sunset, making an orchestra of rising and falling, falling colors. Did I mention I used to be a poet? I used to care about things. Really wanted to paint the world. I mean, no, not like that. Not like Bob Ross. I didn't exactly have a steady hand. And yeah, the beer obviously helps with that. But I figured I would illustrate the world with my words, if nothing else. I had a keen eye for figuring out what shit was analogous to what shit. It wasn't a gift, since it never really made me money. But damn, it felt good to blow some steam off in a superior way for once in my life. I guess that's what I used to pass for my self-esteem. But okay, okay, what, what about some happy stuff? Well, I've decided to sit down and take some deep breaths. That's good to start, right? I'm pretty high up at this point, and the graffiti amongst me doesn't bother me as much as it used to. The ground looks like a puddle of mud, but a little harder, a little rougher around the edges. The sky looks blotted out with all the industrial smoke that used to come from this factory. I don't know how that shit works, so don't ask me. I guess I'd feel more, worth, more worthwhile with my life if I just knew someone cared. My phone is filled with numbers and people who I don't remember, or I half remember, and a few others, I'll be quite honest, I quarter remember. Now, how does that work? Well, I remember, if I remember you, when I remember you, I remember you. I know your name, how we met, why we met, and presumably keep met at meeting, probably against my better judgment, and so on. If I half know you, then like I probably know why we met and some basic things about you as a person, but that's probably it. A quarter? Well, like I understand why we met, but I don't I don't really I don't understand anything else. At this at this point, you're probably my favorite drug dealer or something. I mean like hypothetically, like I don't actually do drugs, I'm addicted to enough as it is. See, the thing with alcohol is that it has a really nasty tendency to heighten what you already feel. I mean, not all the time, and even when it's true, it's not necessarily always bad. If you're at a party and feeling good, then alcohol might raise that to 11. And that's not, like, necessarily bad, though it can lead to stupid things happening. But people who have social anxiety use alcohol to temper it. Well, I guess. I, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand how that works. I mean, alcohol is supposed to remove inhibitions and relax you, so I suppose that helps. But how do you just magically relax a mind that's constantly attacking itself? A few shattered... Bottles of beer on the wall aren't going to deal much against that. And that's why I'm here. Well, that's why I'm where I am. I just can't shut off my goddamn mind. Oh, that's right. I came here to kill myself. Jesus. You know, I wish I could have at least had the decency to not fucking forget that drunkenness. Why I came to an abandoned distillery in the middle of nowhere? Well, I guess I can't attribute myself being here for nothing. I was hoping I just wanted some fresh air, but given the toxic air around me, that seems unlikely. Thanks. <laughs>